Welcome to the Global Author Podcast. I'm Matt Connor Whiteley, science fiction, fantasy, and a global author, bringing you publishing, writing, book marketing, and a global author ideas for your book to help you sell more books and write better books. For more information and your free global author training, please go to theglobalauthor.com. And here's the show. Hi everyone and welcome to episode 69 of the Global Author Podcast with me Colin Whiteley and today is Friday the 15th of October 2021 as I be a call this and today's episode is on why authors need to be professional. So this is really really good episode for authors who to be honest are very new at like self-publishing and also they're, up, like, they're starting to wonder why is a professionalism so important there because this episode is really great for authors of like all levels though, but to authors who are just like starting their author journey and also like kind of sort of writing like as a hobby, they're definitely going to get slightly more out of this though, but everyone will still enjoy it. And the reason why I decided to do today's episode is because as you'll hear in the content part of today's episode, I'll like, you're going to hear that I had a bit of a weird experience with an author and and this was like as a reader and to be honest it left me in such a weird state that I no longer wanted to support this author. I no longer wanted to buy their books and for me as a reader who loves buying books from authors who love supporting authors that really did make me feel really weird. So hopefully you're going to learn a lot from today's episode. But before we uh, move on to that, I just want to give you a quick personal update. So I'm still doing like my psychology placement and of course I'm not going to talk about that there. But then yeah, but that's been a slightly easier week as I've still been able to do lots of like writing and I've still been able to get lots of uh, other stuff done. And there's two things that I want to like mention though. So the first one is, is that every day for the past like five days and I will continue this for a little while is that I've been uploading three books a day to a published driver because I got the a lifetime deal where I feel like a prosumer. So what I'm doing is that I'm going to be uploading my like psychology books to it and then I'll use the addition, yeah, but then I'll use it to distribute my books to stores that, that I don't all already go to though because this is something that's really important and this is why I'm mentioning it is that even if a distributor like a published driver offers every single place you could ever want your books to go to you do not go all in with one distributor because if that distributor collapses well then you're toast this is actually to be honest though yeah but this is like just as bad as saying now that you're a wide author but you're still exclusive to one place sure it gets your books globally all over the world which is a lot better than a kdp select and yes it is a lot better for global authors but you're still exclusive to one place though. So yes, I'm definitely going to, yes, so like, um, after I've been on Published Drive for a few months, I'm definitely going to do my review for a Global Authors. But definitely, if you want to use a Published Drive, go through the AppSumo deal, because I don't necessarily, I'm very, I don't know, I'm not entirely sold on the whole subscription like idea. And I'm still going to use my normal business principles, that like, when it comes to any distributor because yes put your books on as many platforms as possible but always grow all of them as much as you can because if you lose one distributor just yeah but like just so it doesn't cripple your business because at this point in time if amazon went for my author income i don't think it'd be devastating i'd be annoyed but it wouldn't be devastating if ingram spark went i would be a bit more concerned because that is quite a lot I think it makes 44% of my author income, which is very surprising to a lot of authors. But so the takeaway from this personal update is just be careful and always, always, always make sure that you have as many income streams as possible. And then and the other thing that I wanted to mention there well, was that so far, but like this week I've done four short stories, which I'm very pleased with. So I've now done a, a Christmas mystery a collection, which I studied like last week. I finished it on like Wednesday. And the really funny thing about that is that I'll be releasing it, to be honest, very early up like next month at the latest though, of like just so it's out for the Christmas season. But the funny thing about that though was that I was like writing along and I've done like, these two uh, private eye uh, short stories with a character named Betty. All of these have been a standalone short stories. They're not a series, they're not anything. 
but then I was writing along, I was really, really enjoying this a character called a better yeah. Well, and my a creative voice, I was just having like so much fun though. So like what happened was was that I'm now deciding I'm definitely am going to do like five or short stories that was so I've already like done two. My creative voice is already screaming at me yeah, to do uh, like some more like with her and it's sort of all lovely uh, like giving me a few like ideas or or basically there uh, like my creative voice is just saying them can we do this to her? Please, can we please just do that? I really I really 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 just I wanna see like what happens. So I'm sort of again though, I'll be like, yes, because the important thing about being a long-term author though is that you do not argue over your creative voice. If your creative voice wants to do something, then you just let it do it. And it's actually really, really fun though. And as soon as you get out of your creative voice's way, yeah, but the better that you're writing it gets. And then the only other thing that I wanted to mention over is about the short story that I did today also ties up my Traitor Superhumans um, collection, of which I will... Yeah, but like, oh, which is like science fiction, which is part of my agents of the Emperor Black universe because I've done four, yeah, because I've done like four short stories before, and then I sort of like left it, yeah, but like I left it there, but I've started to like finish up that box set today, so I now have two major products written up. And as always, I always like love to hear your thoughts and feelings on today's episode, so you can always email me, conwhitely, conwhitely.net. You can always leave a comment on the show notes at theglobalauthor.com forward slash podcast and you can always tweet me on Twitter at theglobalauthor. I always love to hear from all of you. And today's episode has been sponsored by Bluehost, which is an absolutely brilliant WordPress hosting platform though because today I talk a lot about the need for a professional website and being like professional and WordPress is an app website platform that helps you to become a lot more professional though, so I cannot recommend it enough, and a Bluehost, you've just like got to get so, though, because it really does make your WordPress site a lot more professional, a lot more easy to use, and it is really a affordable as I read across this. So if you want to use my affiliate link so I get a small percentage of the income and no extra cost you, then now please go to theglobalauthor.com forward slash Bluehost. I cannot recommend that enough. So, I hope that you enjoyed the personal update. So let's move on to the content part of today's episode. So we're moving on to the content part of today's episode. So we're going to be talking about why authors need to be a professional. And originally this was supposed to be about professional websites and everything, but I actually want to do this like as a lot more broader though. And the entire reason why I'm actually doing today's episode is because after discovering an author that I loved was really unprofessional, that had a really bad effect on me as a reader. So I wanted to share with you what happened just so you can avoid having readers have the same reaction to you. To be honest, it's very rare that a reader would actually have that sort of reaction, but still, I just want you to be aware of it. So why do authors need to be professional? As authors, we need to be professional, and whilst there are thousands of reasons why you should, I'm actually just going to summarise some of the key points. Firstly, if you look professional as an author, so you have a professional looking website, social media, author photos and more, then this makes the reader more likely to trust you and the quality of your work because you don't look like some hack because in a set that you will look like a professional writer who, who, who can tell a gripping story. Then now this leads to more sales over time. Another reason is that you want to be respected and trusted by your fellow authors because in the author community lots of opportunities can occur and be offered since if one writer is collecting submissions for a bundle or another type of joint promotion then they'll only be picking out respectful professional authors. For example in the future I fully intend to do an anthology and I'll be picking some big name indie authors that are solicited stories from to fill half of it and the reason why I'm going to pick these authors isn't because they're best sellers or they make millions from their writing it's because they're professional authors who I know will deliver me a quality story that is good because they write great stories and whenever authors look for people to include in opportunities they're looking for professional authors so it reflects well on them this is why short story editors automatically reject stories that don't follow the manuscript format because it shows that an author isn't a professional and I'm going to talk a lot more about that in my how to write and sell short stories book so all in all, if you want more opportunities as an author, keep writing, keep being professional and keep networking in the author community. Retailers and the promotion. So I want to expand upon the last point a bit more because if you're a professional author that networks with a retailers, then you're much more likely to be selected for promotions, be it Kobo merchandising, a draft digital promotion or anything else. 
And this is for the same reasons as earlier. If you're a professional author, then the retailers know you're highly likely to deliver their readers a great book that will keep readers spending more money on their site. All of the retailers love professional authors, be it Kobo, Apple, Amazon or any one else. A quick story. So the whole story behind today's episode was something that happened back in June 2021. So I was reading this amazing romance novel. It was the first one that, that I like, ever read and the narrator was amazing. So I, so I wanted to tweet the author and to thank them for writing such a, a great book because as readers, we do that. And as a quick note aside, lots of readers thought the same as me, so please don't judge me. <laughs> so I found the writers at Twitter, and well, it was so unprofessional, and everything, and everything, I turned away quickly because it was unprofessional to the extent that I felt embarrassed for the author. And some of their language and some of the things they were saying made me want to avoid the author. So, well, the author. And none of the language was racist, homophobic, or anything else I can't stand. It's just chatty things that a professional author wouldn't say. Anyway, I did the tweet. But this is what happens, is that a few minutes later, I felt embarrassed for associating myself as a professional author with this person. And I didn't want readers and other authors thinking that I supported unprofessional author behaviour. And, or even worse, that I wasn't a professional author myself with a good books. So I left it and I haven't read anything of this author since, since then. So the reason why I'm telling you this is because... If this author acted professionally on social media, then I would still follow them. I might have read more of their books. But because they were unprofessional, I didn't doubt how good some of the other books were. And I didn't want to be a part of their author journey as a reader. Just a reminder, I was far from the only reader who felt like this. For example, I... Yeah, for like example, I was actually going through the Amazon for those of which I like because I only look at ebooks on Amazon if I want to check out the of those. The amount of people who were like said that, um, yeah, but like who said that, I love this author's writing. I just can't stand him on a social media. So that was a shame, though. Conclusion. So this has been a very quick overview of like why you need to be a professional author. But I really hope that you've now got a better understanding of how important it is, and hopefully that like this will, will benefit you on your author journey. So I really hope that you enjoyed today's episode and that you got something out of it. And if you know someone who would enjoy today's episode, then please share it with them. I'm always really grateful when you wonderful people help us spread the word about the podcast. And if you want a, a professional author website, that's easy to use. And that will help you look a lot more professional. Then uh, please ask, check out Word Apple, Word Press and a Bluehost. And if you want to use my affiliate link, then uh, please check out theglobalauthor.com forward slash Bluehost. I cannot recommend it enough. So have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you next time. Thanks sir, for listening today. I hope you found it useful. For more information, please go to theglobalauthor.com. And if you want to connect, then please reach out to me on Twitter at The Global Author. And you can find me on Facebook. For your free and exclusive Global Author video training, please go to theglobalauthor.com forward slash free. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you next time.